Hi, I'm Ian McClintock, the founder of the Charity Excellence Framework. This short video will familiarise you with the Charity Commission Registration Online Portal. Detailed instructions and links to all the guidance and documents that you will need to do so are contained in the Charity Excellence resource on the website at charityexcellence.co.uk. You'll find it on the resources page in the management section. There's also a link in the YouTube description. This is what you will see on logging in. Start your application to create a new charity. The system's actually fairly clunky and you have to persevere, but it works. The one thing you do need to be aware of is it will automatically time out. It will not tell you it's done so, but it will allow you to continue adding information. When you click save, it will then time out and you will lose all the work that you've done. Here on the left are all the sections that you need to complete. But be aware, classification. This will drive the types and numbers of questions that you get. The more you select, the more you will get. So that's what. Here is how you will do it. and who you will do it for. And where, if you select overseas, you will need to upload the various countries that you plan to work in. And here are the questions that have been generated. So you can see I've got questions on religions and I need to attach various bits of information. Another area to be aware of is property. If you own property, you will need to answer a number of questions. A key issue here is any connection to a trustee. The commission are extremely focused on the potential for someone benefiting from their relationship with the charity. You will need to upload documents and include enough detail to be really, really demonstrably clear that there can be no benefit. Connections is another area that they get extremely focused on. If you will employ anyone or buy goods and services or there are any other benefits that's related to a trustee, you will need to be clear about how you will manage this to ensure that there can be no personal benefit. The more detail, the better. They take this extremely seriously. Connections or relations to another organisation or if you're being established by another organisation. If you do, you must be able to demonstrate absolutely unequivocally that they're completely independent with a separate board and separate finances. You may have an MOU. This section you really do need to get right. Trustee details are all the information they want. And the final page is the declaration. This is where you can upload all sorts of additional information such as extra policies. There's a spell check facility here. It really doesn't work terribly well, but it will find some spelling errors for you. And when you click I certify, you're saying that everything in here is accurate and that it is the board has approved this, not you. And that's actually really quite important. You'll know that everything's okay because you'll have ticks against all of these areas here. If you don't, you need to go back and complete that. If you want, print a copy, will actually download a PDF for you. This can be quite useful for circling to the board. And then you simply submit your application and that's it done. Thank you.